Hello my quilting friends, Leah Day here with a special video that is not quilting, I'm actually cooking. We're making jambalaya tonight with the duck that we roasted yesterday. So we raise chickens and ducks, they're just a backyard flock, and every once in a while we get an extra bird that needs to go. So uh, we roasted them up last night following some instructions, very, very easy roasted duck instructions from Matt McDougall, 50 ducks in a hot tub. So find information in the uh, video below and you can find Matt's video and learn how to roast a duck super, super easily. I know it's one of those things that a lot of people are like, oh, duck is so much harder than chicken and that kind of thing. It's actually really, really simple. So we roasted our duck last night, shredded up the meat and made stock out of the bones. And now I'm gonna take the leftover meat plus a lot of delicious vegetables and andouille sausage and make a very, very good jambalaya. This is one of my family's favorite dishes and I can't wait to show you how to do it too. So let's get started. So I've started out by slicing four strips of bacon and I just sliced it up into little pieces, put it in the pan on medium heat and I just brown this so it's nice and crispy. I'm gonna leave all that beautiful bacon grease in the pan and now I'm gonna add my onions. This smells so good. I love bacon and I love cooking with bacon grease. Now I know that that's kind of one of those things that a lot of people think is unhealthy but it's one of those things that Josh and I really like cooking with. Um, we also render lard and um, different fats from different animals. It's just one of those things. I think it's um, different opinions really when it comes to healthy fats versus bad fats. So do some more research, but don't judge me for eating bacon grease here. So this is gonna cook down for about 10 minutes and then we'll be ready to put more stuff in. So I'll meet you back here when this is ready for the next step. So this was cooked down. And you can see how beautifully softened the onions are. And now I'm gonna add, this is uh, diced green pepper, diced celery, two bay leaves. I'm just gonna stir it in. Oh, and two uh, cloves of garlic, very finely minced. So I'm just turning, stirring it all in. And I'm also gonna stir in my andouille sausage. And this is four links of andouille sausage. And I like the Johnsonville brand at the grocery store. It's the uh, New Orleans andouille sausage. That's just a brand that I've liked for the last several years. And you just dice it up. You can see in about mm, half inch uh, little slices and that works great. So I'm just stirring this together and then I'm gonna add my seasoning. This is a combination of paprika, thyme and cayenne powder. It's quite a lot of seasoning, but you really want to add a lot of seasoning that way your jambalaya doesn't taste bland. I'm just gonna stir this in. And I want this to incorporate and cook down the new vegetables just a bit. So this has just stirred together really quickly. And now I'm gonna add the rice. This is one cook, sorry, this is one cup of uncooked rice. And this is an important step. You wanna toast the rice in the pan, which means stir it in before you add any liquid, any extra ingredients. And this gives the rice a little bit of time to cook against the cast iron. And I really do think that cooking with cast iron is very important for making jambalaya. So I'm just gonna stir this around for a minute or two and then I'll be ready to add the next ingredients. So this looks good, beautifully toasted rice. And I've increased the temperature here just a bit before I add some drained canned tomatoes. And this was the duck stock that we made yesterday. And you can find exact amounts for everything that I'm adding on my website at leahday.com. So don't worry if you aren't catching exactly what I'm adding here. Okay, and now I'm adding some shredded duck meat. Beautiful. Just stirring this in. And then the last thing is some diced green onion. Okay. So I'm just gonna stir this in and then I'm gonna bring the temperature up to high and cover it and let it cook for about 15 minutes until most of the rice is done and all the liquid has been absorbed. So let's take a look. Here we go. We've got this beautifully cooked rice. You're gonna see a little bit of liquid kind of around the edges maybe. 
I'm gonna just give it a good stir, kind of fold it around, and all that extra liquid's gonna move around, and you're gonna have this beautifully mix beautiful mixture of rice and sausage and duck and vegetables. This is beautiful. So I hope that you have enjoyed learning how to make jambalaya with us today. I certainly enjoyed teaching you how to make this beautiful dish. Find the exact ingredients and recipe for jambalaya at leahday.com. And again, one, two, three, snap. Here we go, snap. Hello, my cool team friends. Today I am not, <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> all right, all right, let's try that again. All right, here we go. Oh, we have to see that. Okay.